What's going on, everybody? It's Lloyd Briggery from Breaking In. I uh, just want to say what's up. Uh, thank you guys for checking in, liking, and subscribing, and all that good stuff, and sharing, sharing, and caring, and, and all the all that business. Um, I know it's been a while since you've heard from us. It's been busy, guys. New York Comic Con 2015, one of the best uh, experiences I've had on that side of the table as a vendor, I guess, as an exhibitor uh, that I've ever had. It's probably my sixth or seventh consecutive New York Comic Con, and uh, the first few were as a fan. Um, but this time as an exhibitor, uh, I, I would say in, in all of them, all six or seven that I've been to, this one's by far the best one. And I've heard that from exhibitors, I've heard that from fans, young, old, and in between. I've heard that from everyone, just about as diverse of a crowd as you can get. And that's rare. So kudos to that. It has literally taken about two weeks for the dust to settle from it. And so here I am. Um, it was great seeing a couple of you guys that, that watched the videos, um, stop by the booth, the Kubert School booth, and say what's up. Really appreciate that. It was great meeting you, uh, great looking at your work and talking comics. You know, uh, we live for these moments. And it was good um, to, to, to have that experience. Uh, big shout out to Costas in, uh, in Greece. So what's up, brother? Um, hope, hope you got back home safely. Anyway, um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for stopping by. Uh, it's good to know that, that people are actually watching these videos, or it's good to actually meet the people. I mean, I can tell people are watching, but um, to actually meet you is, uh, is really cool. It's really what it's all about. Um, that being said, moving forward, uh, that's what, you know, this is, breaking in. Um, I want to take a minute to, to kind of look at, you know, really what breaking in is all about. Uh, we, we share our experiences with you guys, and there, there are highs and lows, and and I don't know that I've done the best at really conveying all the highs and all the lows to you. It's kind of just been really steady. And steady's good, but, um, you know, it's it's more like a pendulum swing. Um, there are times when, I know for all of us, there's really not much to talk about. Um, it's, uh, you know, you're working on art or, you know, you're waiting to hear back from someone and you're just kind of in limbo. And, and you know, the question then becomes, what do you do in limbo? And um, something that I don't think anyone in any field of, of any craft likes to do, and that's you just kind of got to wait sometimes. Sometimes you just got to wait. In that waiting, it's important that you don't get rusty. The rust settles in quickly, as a lot of you artists out there know. Um, one, one guy I listen to a lot says life is really on a sliding scale for a lot of things. You're either going up. Or you're going down, and you know you're you're going up towards the goal, or you're sliding down away from it, and that can be applied in a lot of different things. Um, but I think uh, you know the idea of just plateauing or just kind of holding steady. Um, I don't know. I, I think you could argue either way. I know in art you got to you got to keep at it. So even when you're waiting to hear back, or you're waiting for that opportunity, you still got to you know keep up your disciplines. And that's when it truly does become a discipline. You got to stay fresh. You, you got to figure out a way to be creative and, and continue to grow. One thing um, I talked about with the fellas, and, and maybe you guys get some footage of this conversation, is I don't know as a, as a creative person, I don't, I don't know if we're allowed to be bored. And I, obviously, like, we get bored at times, but the, the gift that we have, it's, it's kind of like our mutant ability is we could choose not to be bored. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I got like 20 or 30 different plot ideas, different worlds forming in my mind all the time. And so if I'm bored in any instance, you know, it's it's almost as simple as changing the channel. But obviously it's a little bit more complex than that. But it's hard for me to just be somewhere and be bored. It really is. Uh, and that's a gift and a curse, too, because sometimes you just need some solitude, some solitude and some peace and quiet. But you got all these other things going on in your mind, which is cool. Um, but like I say, it can be a burden sometimes. So there's a, there's a balance even in that. Um, and that's really what it's all about. It's about finding balance. Um, so just to give you guys an update on some of the projects I'm working on, um, I recently, in, you know, within the last week or so, uh, finished up a commission for uh, someone I was working with and got paid for it, which was, 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 a, good, was a good thing. Um, and it's always good to, you know, get paid for your work and your time, you know, for, for what you're worth. And I felt like I did on this particular project. 
Um, but it definitely encouraged me uh, to kind of branch out even more. It's like, look, it, it's one of those moments, and it's like, duh, Lloyd, like you're a working artist. I get that. But at the same time, it's uh, I value that. And, and any time I can get that paycheck, not, not to say that money validates what I do, but it just it, it helps further, you know, strengthen the, the the idea in my own mind that yes, what I do is is high quality. Yes, people do want it. Yes, I can make a living out of it. Now obviously, you know, like this isn't, you know, go buy a house and a car for everybody in your family type of money. But at the same time, it's those little breadcrumbs that kind of lead to the big gingerbread house, if you will, uh, that keep you going. And so that being said, um, I am about to do a series of, of what I kind of like to call my favorite pieces. And these will be just some, some ideas that are uh, characters that I've, loved, that I've loved throughout history that I want to draw. And I'm going to be putting them on my various social media, and they're going to be for sale, so they'll have a price tag. Um, my medium right now that I'm most comfortable in, and, and by most comfortable I mean it, it comes out in my mind, it, the actual product comes out very closely to what I envision in my head. Uh, that medium is with Copic markers. Uh, and it's always a good painting is going to have a good drawing under it. So, um, the you know, penciling is, is, my, is my baby. <laughs> but the rendering piece, I've discovered that, that that's my strong suit when it comes to the rendering. So I'll have pencils. I'll have... Uh, completed pieces, fully rendered in, in Copic ink, which is like a watercolor marker for people that don't know. Uh, so be on the lookout for that. Stay tuned to the social media stuff. Um, and I will be sure, I will intentionally be sure now to give you guys more of the highs and the lows. And, you know, hopefully you guys will, you know, endure with me through the lows. And then at the same time, we can all celebrate together uh, during the, the high points. Uh, so be on the lookout for all of that. Again, thanks so much for tuning in. I appreciate your time. Um, and, yeah, uh, you know, look forward to, uh, to making more art. All right, guys, this is Lloyd Briggery signing out. Take care. Work hard. Witness. <laughs> All right, fellas, Moo Juice, the Moo Juice Marauders. Uh, stay tuned for more updates from the fellas. All right, guys, peace.